right, slowly, slowly. Don't bolt. I've got you. I've got you. I'm getting sick of using just coconut fiber substrate as a tarantula substrate because for one, yes, it molds. I hate mold. Do you guys like mold? If you like mold, I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I don't like mold at all and look at this enclosure. There's like mold at the bottom of this enclosure as well as under the water dish. Now, I've had a lot of people, well, a few people tell me that these type of mold, these yellow mold, they're actually some sort of mushroom spores and are not harmful to the tarantula. It's those white mold that I have to be afraid of. But, you know, being a paranoid person like me, I just don't like mold. Whatever mold it is, whether it's this mold or the white one, I just hate mold. So what I'm going to be trying to do, or at least what I've already done for this tarantula, is created a new enclosure over here. Very, very nice looking enclosure, right? Well, to me, it looks nice to you guys. <laughs> I don't know. Now this, hopefully it doesn't grow a lot of mold or if any mold, hopefully nothing grows it's really heavy but what this basically is I mean the substrate is a mixture of potting soil just a little bit of coconut fiber yes I did add some coconut fiber in here but just a little bit not too much not like this and then we have a little bit of sand and some clay so that would help hold some burrows for the tarantula because if you just use coconut fiber substrate when the tarantula makes a burrow it's just gonna collapse down on the tea which is never good right but then this thing, this substrate over here, is pretty hard and solid. So that's what we're gonna be using for this tarantula. So for those who don't know, this is my skeleton tarantula. You can see she made a very nice tunnel over here. But yeah, because of the mold, we're gonna be transferring her into this nice looking enclosure. Now this enclosure has a skull. This was my uncle's Rottweiler that passed away. Yep, that's a skull. I've cleaned it up. Not perfectly, but it's, it's clean. Then we have a snake shed. This is actually a cobra shed. My friend has like three pet cobras. So I asked him, can I have one shed? And he gave it to me and and it's now in this enclosure. Looks pretty nice. And then of course we have some wood and dried leaf litter. So now without any further ado, let's let's do what we came here for, right? Let's get this tarantula into her new enclosure before anything happens to her. I mean, nothing's gonna happen to her with this kind of mold. But if this mold multiplies to a lot, that will not be good. So first things first, I feel really bad destroying this tunnel because like this is like my favorite type of tarantula tunnel. They web up really solid around the entrance but you know you gotta do what you gotta do yeah this is painful see it's so solid like it's in one piece look at that look at that it's in one piece i just gotta do this i'm sorry girl you can see her legs down there and there's one little foot over there but you know i'm just gonna have to get some of this substrate out give it to the plants hopefully this girl's in a good mood because the skeleton tarantulas they are new worlds but they behave like old worlds look at this it's so solid that oh man oh i feel so bad look at this so solid <sighs> all right i'll put it like in here over there in case anyone wants to use it <laughs> Oh gosh, let's get this wood out. Hopefully she doesn't bolt out on me. Yep, she's down there. So there she is. You can see her legs over there. Beautiful, beautiful tarantula. And this wood, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. It's like covered in substrate. And you can see some mold are on the wood as well. So I'm not going to be using this wood. Oh my goodness, I just made a big mess in my garden. So yeah, this wood, I'm not going to drop anything in this because I don't want mold spores to be in here. So what I'm going to do, I guess, I'm going to put it in there. One, two, go. Uh, yeah, close enough. <laughs> All right, back to the enclosure. Time to get this tarantula into this enclosure. And of course, I've got my handy catch cup over here because these guys, like I mentioned, man, they're new worlds, but they act as old worlds. Let's see what kind of mood she's in today. All right, girl, do not do anything mischievous okay you see she's still in her web these tarantulas make very very solid webs and she's still in a tunnel look at that it's pretty cool all right there we go i've just broken it i'm so sorry there she is my gorgeous girl please don't bow oh my goodness can you please no check this girl out you guys Whew. It's been a while since we've seen this girl because she is usually in her burrow over there. But today, it, it's not the best thing to do to get her out. I mean, destroying her enclosure. But I mean, it's just for the better of her, right? It's just the best. Ooh, look at this girl. 
Oh, no, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. I'll just put this over here. Water dish. Let me get this enclosure right. Oh, my gosh. This is heavy because of the clay. The clay and the potting soil makes it really, really heavy. Oh, gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. You want to go up yourself? Do you want to go up by yourself? Hopefully, she uses that burrow. It's a very nice burrow because it's under the, um, what you call this? The skull. It'd be so cool if she, while waiting for food, her legs are like out here. Wow, that would be so awesome. And then she just grabs the food and brings it into the skull. That would be so cool. All right, girl. Whew. This is not going to be a fun thing. All right, slowly, slowly. Don't bolt. I've got you. I've got you. Come on, let's go into your new enclosure. You will love this enclosure. I'm pretty sure you will. Oh yes, guys, check this girl out. Skeleton tarantula, you know why they call them skeleton tarantula? Check out their legs, it's like a bone. And their head is somewhat like a skull, I guess. I don't know, but whatever it is, this was a successful rehouse. I was expecting this girl to like bolt out of my garden. That's why I took a massive catch cup. I can just like cup her if she decides to run. But man, this girl, very, very well behaved today. Really love this girl. One of my favorite tarantulas in my collection. Oh yeah, and also I have some leaves, I mean grass over here. I planted some grass into the substrate, but unfortunately, mom told me that grass Grass needs sunlight and I can't be putting this enclosure in the sunlight. I mean, come on, obvious reasons, right? You're not gonna put this kind of enclosure in the sun. <laughs> Why do I have to explain this to you guys? But yeah, I've got grass in here. If they die, whatever, it'll look like a nice little desert setup, I guess, with the dead grass. I don't know. But regardless, this enclosure was a success. And I mean, I mean, this rehouse was a success. This enclosure, hopefully this girl will enjoy this enclosure because it's awesome. I did my best. I know it's not the nicest enclosure by any means, but to me, <laughs> good achievement. So this girl, I want her to go into the, uh, can I just touch your foot over here and hope that you don't bolt, please? Oh, there we go. Come on. You gotta put your feet in because, all right, whatever it is, she's already in. See? the um get this out of the way see she's already in so i can now cover it and she'll be good to go and enjoy her new enclosure man i love this enclosure it's like an achievement for me what do you guys think you guys like this enclosure now let's get some close-up of this girl Ooh, man you know tarantulas the new world tarantulas they have their urticating hairs on their abdomen and then when they feel threatened they'll just flick those off these guys the cool thing about these guys is that their urticating hairs are on their front legs. Yeah, that is so cool. They don't kick it off their abdomen. I mean, I don't know if they do or they don't, but all I know is that their urticating hairs, they have it on their front legs. How cool is that? So different from the other tarantulas. But yeah, I was gonna say that I'm gonna be making this like a series. I know this girl was very well behaved today and I know you guys enjoy when tarantulas just come at me, but I mean, I expected this girl to do something at least today, but good thing for me, not so good for you guys, but good thing for me, she was very, very well behaved. So I'm very, very happy about that. Not sure about you guys, but yeah, I'm very, very happy about that. This will be the place to put her water dish. This enclosure is perfect, just perfect. And I was gonna say that I'm gonna be doing like a series of video series I mean like this kind of video because I'm planning to transfer all my tarantulas onto this kind of substrate because like I mentioned in the earlier part of this video I'm getting sick and tired of coconut fiber you see this substrate isn't even super damp right and it's already growing these stupid mold sorry I had to say the word stupid but I mean mold is stupid so yeah I hate mold you guys like mold I don't like you <laughs> So you guys stay tuned for some other videos similar to this. I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy it when I rehouse Miss Thailand Black as well as Miss Lord Have Mercy. Man, she's definitely not gonna have mercy on me. I can already tell. So yeah, I will do an update on this enclosure. Definitely the update, the future update will be, oh this grass died and um, she moved stuff around, but yeah, just stay tuned for that update, yeah? And also stay tuned for future similar videos with different tarantula species. So, I guess that will be it for this video. You guys want to see her for the last time? Because we don't always get to see this girl, this beautiful girl. My skeleton tarantula, Ephibopus marinus. So yeah, I guess that is enough and you guys want to see the... the, the okay, yeah, I guess you guys don't want to see that. 
<laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up. If you didn't, thumbs it down. New to this channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We've been growing pretty well so far. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. Really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys. So yeah, that will be it for this video. You guys take care and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully the next tarantula will cooperate with me and will not cooperate for you guys in between that. Cooperate for me and yeah, whatever. <laughs> see you guys in the next video. Peace. As for these substrate, I think the plants would enjoy them. I hope my mom doesn't find out I just did that. <laughs> Yo, it's only been like five minutes and this tarantula has already adapted to her new hide. Ooh, this is awesome. So as you can see, she has gone down. She has found the pre-made burrow that I did for her. So now I don't have to worry about her digging like at the corner here and being ungrateful that I gave her a hide. Oh, that is awesome. Now this hide isn't very deep. As you can see, it only reaches somewhere down there. But she will dig stuff out and make her web. So she will dig out. She will use this hide definitely. She will, yeah. But she will dig out everything to make a deeper burrow because this enclosure has has quite a bit of substrate which is good for this species the previous enclosure not so much previous enclosure probably had like two-thirds of this substrate and also this enclosure is slightly bigger so she can web and make tunnels under all of these which is again awesome I'm just happy that she made use of her new hide